Welcome to my Daily Tarot Card Reading. I'm Joe Netherworld, and this is our Daily, car car uh, Daily Tarot Card Reading for July 10th, 2013. As always, we pull three cards, and that represents the day that's coming and what we're working with. They'll be shown on the screen in front of me, so you can take a closer look at them. We're going to go into each card into detail, uh, but I'm going to show my cards to myself because I need to read them. So um, we start off with three cards. There's a Signicator card, and there is a Signifier card. Signicator card. I'm making up words. Anyway, um, so the first card that this whole reading is about is the Four of Pentacles. Now, Four of Pentacles is about having money on your mind. This is a money reading. It's about business and finances today. So if you had hopes of having a love reading, you're not going to get one today. <laughs> it's about money. Now, the Four of Pentacles is having multiple choices in front of you, which is always smart to have like a triad in front of you of uh, three choices. Your prime choice, your secondary source of income, and then a, always a tertiary or third um, source that can be taken or, or uh, left depending on your needs. But there's one thing on your mind, which is one prime directive. And that's really smart right now to keep that organized where you have the one source of finance, not your bills or one source of expense, like what's your main choice? How are you going to make your money? What do you love? What are your passions of it? It's about getting into this, being logical about it, and about being smart, but keeping balance and keeping all your finances and all your costs and all your abilities to make money in front of you and judge all of them on their value. If they're not um, particularly valuable, they have to get to the third position. If they're prime value, they have to be right on top of your mind at all times. Now, on the other side of that, you have the Page of Swords, which is a young man's energy. It's a youthful energy. It's a little bit aggressive, battle ready, um, but willing to take orders, take commands. And that would represent um, a newer partner or a person you're working with that can really be helpful because they're willing to do what you tell them to do. So that's important, you know, but understand that they're not really self uh, motivated and they will only do what they're told to do. So you can't expect them to come up with brilliant ideas or fix everything for you. They really have to be told. But they're there and they're willing to stand by you. So acknowledge them and uh, give them orders for the day. Now, the other side of that, um, which is a great card, I always like this card, it's the Eight of Pentacles in this deck. Eight of Pentacles represents being rewarded financially for hard work, but tangible work. Not for ideas and not for, you know, outside the, the box type of thinking, but like, can you make something? Can you sell something? You'll get equal value for what you are worth and it'll be obvious to yourself and to others, um, very simply. So if you're starting a new business or you are gaining new customers, that's great. You're going to um, really be able to make money and be rewarded for your skills. So your skills will stand out. So don't do a half-ass job right now. You know, really step up. Really make an effort. So today is about money. Uh, plain and simple. It's about organizing your thoughts about money and really making sure you're doing a good job. You have to edit yourself and you'll have help, but you are the main breadwinner, money maker. And your ideas are sound, but better than your ideas, your skills are what sells you. So thanks for joining me today. If you need any clarity on this any further, you can find me on keen.com. That's K-E-E-N.com, uh, Joe Netherworld, and I'll do a reading for you or talk to you about the weather. But more or less, we'll do a reading for you. And uh, so thank you very much for spending some time with me and join me again tomorrow.